everybody welcome back to my channel so as you guys know today is Tuesday and y'all should know what that mean by now talks with Tamaria um so I know it's a little change in scenery I'm in my car recording um the only reason I'm doing that is because I picked up a shift last night like you know as an impulse decision and so as soon as I leave school today, I have to go to work. So I won't be able to go home, sit down and record the um, video and then post it in time because I work till 10 o'clock tonight. So we're just going to do it in the car. Like if we change the scenery, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I do need to invest me invest in a tripod to go right here so I don't have to hold the camera while I'm driving. But um, I mean, yeah. So anyway... I just want to let y'all know that, I mean, I just want to let y'all know why there's a change in scenery today. But that's not going to stop nothing. Work not going to stop nothing because we still go post and record what we need to record. Period. So, um, today's, I know it's a little, uh, the lighting is not that much, but y'all can still see me. And I won't be making so much eye contact with the camera, obviously, because I'm focusing on the road. But today's video is going to be about social media. So, I know I touched on it a little bit in my last video on healthy relationships, but I want to touch on this a little bit too, and it's not going to be that long of a video, but it's just a few things that I want to like come on here and talk about, like with social media, you know what I'm saying, and let's get into it. So first, with social media, um, I feel like it's negative and it's positive at the same time. You just got to know how to like navigate around it, basically. So what I mean by that is it's negative because when people go on there, you know, they see other people, mainly celebrities, people that's rich or just fugazi people like they don't even be rich in real life, but they be active, you know, for the cameras and stuff. And I feel like a lot of people go on there and they see these people and they compare their lives to these people. You know what I'm saying? They compare their lives to somebody on Instagram. They compare their body to somebody on Instagram. Their relationship to somebody on Instagram. Their business to somebody on Instagram. They, you know, they influence their journals, journey to somebody on Instagram. I feel like when it comes to social media, it's just filled with so much, you know, so much... What's the word I'm looking for, y'all? I can never figure out my word. It's just filled with so much... I don't know, different images. And it just, I feel like that implants in people's brains. And, you know, they get easily easily deterred by what they see on instagram so they might feel like their body is not pretty enough they may feel like they're not thick enough they may feel like they're just not pretty enough they may feel like they're not rich enough they're not successful enough and i want to come over here and say like that is very very bad for your mental health and for your spirit to be comparing yourself with somebody you see on in the internet especially because what everybody posts on the internet is not necessarily what it is like people can be posting on the internet and that's not what they really live in for real like take the, the uh the little poly couple on tiktok i know y'all be watching them sean and olivia and um shanice now the dude just came on there and said that they share a penthouse but they be on there like oh we just successful poly couple woo woo, woo business woo woo we help people around the world woo. and may he and if he may i don't know but i'm just saying like they just got busted out for sharing the penthouse like come on now so that's what i'm saying like you just and i know that's the, that's just an example but you can't compare yourself to other people like everybody's lives and everybody's journey is totally different and that's not something that you should compare because you might look at yourself and be like why am i not here at this point like she is or why am i not looking like she is half the stuff is fake half the stuff is plastic half the stuff is fugazi so don't be comparing yourself to other people that you see on social media that's just so toxic for your health your mental health and everything you know everybody's journey is different don't compare your journey you could be 21 and you know what i'm saying working two jobs and then there's someone that's 21 they ride in the biz but that don't mean you not doing what you're so not you're that don't mean you're not doing what you're supposed to do that just mean that they doing Whatever they doing, you doing whatever you doing, you gonna get to where you get to when you get there. Period. That's all I'm saying. So that's what I mean by it's negative. A lot of people look up to social media and they look into social media and half the things that's presented on social media is not really what it is. So it's like, why why am I comparing me to them? You know, everybody journey gonna look different anyway. Even if not on social media, your journey may look way different than your best friends. You know what I'm saying? 
it might look totally different or your boyfriends but that don't mean that y'all not doing what y'all supposed to do y'all just in different you know what i'm saying in different areas y'all on different journeys and different pathways so that's what i mean by social media and i also well let me hold on that's point two and also for point two on social media i don't feel like um your whole like life should be on social media now that is a lot coming from me when i'm trying to be a youtuber but just because i'm a youtuber on my youtube channel i want to be transparent with y'all as most as most transparent as i can be because that's the point of authentically t is to be myself to be authentically me period so but that don't mean i'm gonna just blast my business on, on social media because i'm an influencer or trying to be an influencer no there are some things that you just gotta handle in private there are some things that you just gotta take care of behind the scenes you know what i'm saying it's some things that's just not meant to be shared that's just meant to stay private so i feel like there's a uh especially for people who's trying to be content creators and on social media there's a line that you know that you just don't cross like there are some things that you just keep to yourself and be like we didn't need to know that you know what i'm saying or but it's i mean to each his own if you feel like they did need to know that because that's part of your influencer journey and that's part of your social you know your social media journey then by all means but i feel like there is a thin line between what needs to be shared on social media and what doesn't and what needs to be kept private now like i said just because i'm a youtuber don't mean that you know i'm not going to share things but it's just some things that i feel like just you know needs to be kept behind the scenes so that's my opinion on it i don't feel like everything needs to be shared every detail of your life every increment of your life needs to be shared because not only that it's weird people on social media like come on now you know what i'm saying i don't want people weird people just random people like weird people not just i'm just saying like you know to just be knowing every detail of my life is stalkers hackers all kind of stuff so that's more of a security thing and a privacy thing on my end that i just want to just blast everything you know on social media so that's another thing with social media and then also my next thing with social media is so those are ways that i feel like social media is negative um like you know comparing yourself to other people you know what i'm saying that kind of thing sharing every detail of your life on there that's another thing but i also think that it can be very positive because social media you know it is like a networking platform like different it is so like if you start starting a business or if you starting to content create or you know if you're just trying to get the word out about something spread awareness about something social media is a very good platform to do those things on and that's why the ways it can be positive on social media so that's why i think it's good um i'm trying to think of my other point i think that was pretty much my main points guys that's why i said this video was going to be pretty short the point with social media um i feel like with social media um if you are a person that's on social media a lot i feel like it's very important that you kind of stay true to like what you are and who you are i don't feel like you should change your image because um somebody is pressuring you to because your followers are pressuring you to because your fans are pressuring you to or whatever i feel like you should stay true to yourself and true to who you are and if people want you to change them not people that should be supporting you and that's that like you know what i'm saying or if you starting to change and people don't like the change that you are you know that you presenting then you know if it's a good change you know um then they shouldn't be they shouldn't be around you you know what i'm saying because i feel like i've seen a lot of uh just people on social media that like was one thing before they started and then they turned into something totally different because that's what the followers wanted or that's what they fans wanted or you know the case may be so i feel like it's very important to stay true to yourself and stay true to who you are and that's why like i'm gonna keep bringing it up that's why my channel called authentically t because no matter what i'm going to stay true to who i am and if somebody wants me to change or somebody's pressuring me to change and that's not what i want then move around period so yeah and don't get caught up on likes and on views and on things like that don't be clout chasing y'all 
mm -mm. Do not be clout chasing. That's probably why people be changing to, you know, get some clout. Don't be clout chasing. Don't be one of those. Just do what you do. Post what you post and be you and be that. Be done. Like, don't be clout chasing trying to go to the extremes. Be extra. Just be doing stuff because you want more followers or more views. Like, that's not cute. Boy or girl. I don't care what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, trolling, all that stuff. I don't think that's cute. I feel like if you just doing what you doing on social media, posting what you posting, whatever, it should just be that and be done. You know what I'm saying? Like, because what's the point of cloud chasing? You know, eventually, if you stay true to who you are and stay true to what you do, people is going to attract to you because of your personality and because of who you are and your message that you present, you know, in your on your social media pages. You don't have to be extra. You don't have to change. You don't have to, you know what I'm saying, like, just be doing the most because you want more views and followers. It's going to come. Just continue to do you and be you and it's going to come. Like, you know. And, yeah. Um, like I said, this video is going to be short and sweet, but that's what I wanted to say. Don't compare yourself to nobody else. Don't look up to nobody else. You know what I'm saying? You on your own journey to do what you got to do. You going to get there when you get there. Don't compare your progress to nobody. You're going to get there when you get there. You look beautiful. Don't compare your body to nobody else. You are beautiful. To the men out there, y'all are handsome the way y'all are. You don't got to change for nobody. You ain't got to... Girls, you ain't got to go get no bigger booty. You know, if you want to be in the gym, dog, because you know I be in the gym, I be trying to get a little booty this time, a little song, song, you know. But, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm good the way I am, too, which is why I'm not, you know, so hell-bent on trying to get a bigger booty, like. But... You know, if I mean, self-modification is self, you know, self-care, self-maintenance. You want to get in the gym by all means. But I'm just saying, like, don't be getting into it because you want a bigger booty like somebody else, you know. Or because you feel like you're not pretty enough the way you are. Everybody is pretty in their own way. Don't compare your journey to nobody else. Don't compare your progress to nobody else. Don't compare your looks to nobody else. Don't compare your business to nobody else. Half the people on social media is fugazi, y'all. They don't even be what they be talking about. It don't even be, it don't even be what it is for real. So if you go look up to somebody, look up to somebody that's really real in the present, really doing what they got to do for real. You know, not just somebody that's posting. They got a thousand or ten thousand likes on their stuff. Don't change nobody. Don't change for nobody. Be who y'all are. Don't try to cloud chase. Don't try to change for views and, and followers and stuff like that. People is going to attract to you because of who you are as a person, your personality, and whatever you're presenting on your social media pages is going to come be patient you know what i'm saying and like i said i do think it's a good thing when you advocate and you bring in awareness and you promote and stuff yes yeah, social media is a good thing but it does bring a lot of people mental health down because you know people just always just like oh you know and they be comparing really it's just comparing that'd be the main thing and social media is kind of toxic because everybody got their own opinion everybody gonna have something to say somebody go have something to say you know, it's just up to you to, you know, either take that as a constructive criticism or tune it out if it's just some hater stuff. Like, come on now, girl. You know what I'm saying? So, but everybody going to have something to say. You're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to, whatever, figure out how to navigate that. Like, but don't take it to heart. Don't, you know what I'm saying, get in your feelings about it. You know, if it's some hater stuff, ignore it. If it's constructive criticism, take it. You know what I'm saying? And that's all, that's all that is. Because somebody always going to have something to say. Social media or not. Like, oh my God. But, yeah, so don't take that to heart. You know what I'm saying? Do you, be you. Don't listen to people. Don't change for nobody. Don't look up to nobody. Don't compare yourself to nobody. Just be you, literally. Just be you. Like, just be you. You know what I'm saying? Don't be cloud chasing all that extra stuff. Don't be doing all that, y'all. Come on now. We better than this. Like, it's never that serious. It's not that serious. It's not that serious. It's not that serious. Like. So, yeah. And that's what I want to say about social media, you guys. Basically, be you. It don't change for nobody unless that's a change that you want to do. So, thank you guys for watching. Tune in for more. Um... I said thank you guys for watching. And as always, I said it backwards. As always, thank you guys for watching.